Better the trunks, guys. Let's dip it on this tahini sauce. Oh yeah, dunk it, dunk it. Dunk it. Dink it and sink it, guys. Yep. Cheers. Hey guys, this is JD's Eats, let's eat at Winnie Bakes, Levantine Bakery in Winnipeg. Come on guys, let's get it. Yo, bro, are you excited to try out Winnie Breaks? I'm always excited to try out new foods, you know, see what they're like. I'm excited to check out another culture's food. And yeah, hopefully it's good. And let's get it, guys. Yeah. Hey guys, this is G's Eats and today we're doing another food review and we're doing a hidden gem recently opened Middle Eastern Bakery in Winnipeg called Winnie Bakes Levantine Bakery and we're gonna try this amazing Iran drinkable yogurt so it's gonna be our first time trying this Middle Eastern style yogurt and before that, just please make sure to support your local businesses and always remember to give thanks to Winnie Bakes Winnie and guys, let's get into this taste and so yeah Kind of tastes similar to Greek yogurt, but it's a Middle Eastern version, and it's a drinkable version of it. Not bad. It's almost like a texture of the milk here, like yeah. a regular fresh milk. It's sour. And a little bit on the sour side. A little bit sour. <laughs> Not bad. Definitely need to add in sugar for this one. I'm about to say it's no J Disney's We gotta try a new experience, guys. Like this Middle Eastern drinkable yogurt. Alright guys, we got our plates in here. This is, this is one massive dish in here. It smells really good guys. Cooked from the fresh oven here. I love how they make it. The presentation is amazing. We got the lami ajin, which is the beef, the ground beef, with some onions, tomatoes, and some special spices, which I don't know what's the name of special spices. This is like a manish, which is like a Middle Eastern flatbread. And then for me, got a lovely beef shawarma calzone, which looks amazing, looks brand new. You can see that's charred calzone in here. It's an amazing shawarma. Sauce. I think this is tahini sauce guys. So it has the beef shawarma in there. So looking forward to try this guys, right? Yes. Let's give it a taste test. Let's get it. All right guys, we're gonna try this lami pi ajin. Looks like a pizza. All right, I think this is the key in there. Get into the taste test. Yeah. It has a very citrusy type of flavor, but it's very good. Yeah, nice acidity to it, and nice and soft and crumbly ground beef in there, and nice and soft flat bread in there. This will go well with some hummus. Yeah, it's gonna be nice for y'all. Yeah, it's almost got like a vinaigrette type of oil yeah. on there. Really good. Alright. Alright, Jay Dizzy's fans. Jay Dizzy's Eats fans, this is for y'all. This is for you. Cheers. Yeah. This is phenomenal guys, wow, this is really good. But it's best to put like with that garlic sauce, hummus sauce, and that tahini sauce. This will make it two times better. Spices complements well to this one. That's why I love Middle Eastern food for a reason. They got some amazing spices in there and really tasty meats in there they put on there. visit definitely gonna try the shawarma pie in the pan but chicken I'd like to have this the beef shawarma oh have some lovely beef in there like cross section cross section the tomatoes in there and some lovely spices in there and onions better the trucks guys let's dip it on this tahini sauce oh yeah dunk it dunk it dunk it dink it and sink it guys yeah cheers wow 
bone. Got some big chunks of beef in there. It's really beefy and nice and soft and pillowy on this bun there. On this calzone, not bad. And I can taste some of these spices in there. Feels like I'm eating beef stew right now. But a shawarma. You have to agree it's got a beef stew texture. I believe there's hummus inside there. I could be wrong. But it tastes very good mixed with the beef and the veggies. The bread is very pillowy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, definitely gonna try this out if you ever come to Winnipeg. Yeah, it's a great local hidden gem that I've never heard of. I heard it's only from Winnipeg Eats. This is really good. You will like this, guys. If you like Middle Eastern food. And the price isn't that bad here. It's kind of cheap. Especially this the one, the Manish. And they're pretty filling. I chose beef calzone because my parents want one. They like beef shawarma. They're big Middle Eastern food lovers in there. Oh yeah. This is to die for. Next time when I go here, I'm gonna try the chicken one. The chicken calzone or the pie in the pan. I feel like the pie pan is really good. Gotta experience that. Oh yeah. Pizza time. I feel like we're having pizza here. Middle Eastern version of pizza. Wow, this is a killer. That very zesty, very tangy. Yep. Got a vinaigrette type of flavor. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. Finger licking good. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I gotta say though, I was pretty impressed by that beef shawarma calzone. I really liked how pillowy the bread was. I like how everything kind of came through together. And I liked how it kind of reminded me of my grandma's stew. Yep, that reminds me of having caldereta, which is a Filipino beef stew. That's the one that I usually have. And one of my favorite Filipino my mom cooks at home. Right. Yeah, let's have this last piece here, guys. Cheers, boys. Cheers to Jada's Eats. Cheers to Winnipeg's. Thank you for the food. Good setup. Let's get that milk, the yogurt. Yep, I think it's perfect to contrast the sour and the sweetness in here. Wouldn't get the drink couple of yogurt, but I would definitely get this Manish again. A different kind of Manish. Like the surgical one. Alright guys, to end off, the owner gave us the pasposa, which is the coconut and the flour and some semolina in there. Look at that. I think it's a pistachio, guys. Ooh, I'm excited. And her wife made it in the cupcake version of it, which is kind of nice. It almost looks like a canate, but we're gonna give it a try, guys. Mmm, very coconutty and nice and sweet and nice and soft. Yes. This is really good. Yeah, thank you. What a way to end off the meal with this lovely basbosa. Good. All right, guys, I enjoyed the lame beef ajim, which is the beef on a manish, which is a Middle Eastern flatbread, and the beef calzone. And I like how it's sweet, ground beef in there, very aromatic and very soft, and then very zesty and nice acidity that when you take a bite on that, it's like a flavor explosion on it. Like, wow, me and my friend enjoyed it. And then the beef calzone, and that's where my friend enjoyed the most, the beef calzone. Should have ordered the chicken maybe next time. It's really beefy. It tastes like a beef stew like caldareta like what my mom makes except it's a middle eastern version of it and perfect with those vegetables and the sauce which is the tahini sauce and nice soft pillowy bread in there i like how they prepared it and they put those in the oven guys look how amazing the oven is and then i tried the middle eastern yogurt drink it has a milk texture but it has that sour component to it which was kind of okay definitely want to get it again but it's definitely worth trying it for the first time because i love trying new stuff that's what i gotta do for you jdis e fan and then next time when i go there i'm gonna go try the other manakish and the chicken shawarma and or instead of the calzone it's on the pie in the pan and then the owner gave me the free dessert which is a basbusa it's almost like kind of fat but it has that coconut semolina and flour in there her wife made it a cupcake version of it which is kind of nice and sweet very coconutty perfect right after a savory meal but anyway guys just please make sure to support your local businesses and always remember to give thanks to winnie bay it's definitely a place to try in Winnipeg for some local hidden gem Middle Eastern bakery food you can get in Winnipeg guys if you do enjoy the video just please make sure to leave a like and you please make sure to smash the subscribe button share this thing you want and comment for any suggestion guys can we hit like and subscribers can we do it and guys this is JD Seats and guys see you guys next video bye